join him and me in the next in our winter series of videos. Welcome to this week's vlog. If it's the first time you've come across my channel and you like these type of videos, then you may want to think about subscribing. If you do decide to subscribe, don't forget to hit that bell notification icon and you'll never miss another video again. So where are we in the next vlog in the winter series? Well, we're back at the park lake. It's just starting to spit with rain. A little bit warmer than it has been. It's about eight degrees today and it's gonna stay about that tonight. Cloud cover, him, look, look at it, look. Poor little thing, eh? Poor little thing, wants to get in the kit already. So we've had a walk round, him and me. We looked under all the bushes, all the trees, everything, not seeing a bloody thing. God, that rain's starting to come down now a little bit. So we'll be short and sweet for the intro. But we've had a look round, not seeing anything, and we're on the back of the wind. That wind's pumping up there. It's been the last couple of days, it's been cold the last couple of days. So I'm come on the back of it. Always tend to go on the back of the wind. If it's been cold, or it's gonna be cold, I found I've had m much better results over the years on all different types of lakes getting on the back of that wind because it does make a difference. This water temperature could be probably a one degree warmer up this end than it is up that end. Not sure where I'm going to put the rods yet. I just want to get set up because we've only got 24 hours this, this vlog. He just wants to get in the bag, the old carp dog, doesn't he? Bless him, shivering a little bit. It's not even that cold. Bless him, eh? Look at him, look at him, look, look. But I won't melt, eh? Oh, I'll tell you what, we have the old imaginary rat at three o'clock in the morning, I reckon, tonight, as usual, bouncing around the bivvy. But yes, it's looking all right, you know, we've got a chance, we've only got 24 hours, so it's going to be three singles, white, fluoro white, and a washed out pink, and probably another white or pink one, not really decided yet, and I haven't even decided where I'm going to put my baits yet either. But anywhere on the back of this wind. I did have a look at another swim round there, which is on the back as well, which I fished in the winter previous winters many years ago when I had a ticket for the place before and done well in there but I just I don't know I just fancy this swim I haven't fished it very much this year and I know one fish came out of here a couple of weeks ago so and it was a biggie You've got the bay in there I've had a look in there that looks all right someone's doing a day session in there they haven't seen anything and the guys I've spoke to haven't seen anything at all over the weekend so very dire but a little bit warmer than it has been so it's always a chance as long as you've got them rods on the dance floor it really does only take one bite and you're always in with a chance so while this rain's coming down i'm going to get the kit off there i'm going to keep him happy and get him in a bag and we'll catch up soon right welcome back house is all up he's in there tucked away i've had to take my hoodie off because i'm absolutely sweating my nuts off setting up and getting ready and all that and everything and foolishly i put my merino wool underlayer on i put a link to that the old merino wool. If you're looking to keep warm this winter, three layered system is what you want to use. And this merino wool underlayer and sort of um, uh, under long johns and uh, merino wool socks is the way to go if you want to keep warm with a hoodie and then a jacket or whatever. But um, I might even put the video up there. I'll put the video up there, link to it, where I um, I did a video all on keeping warm and what you should wear and boots and jacket and three layer system so yeah that's worth having a look at and i put the links to the merino stuff where you can get a bit more information as well so right yeah i'm gonna i'm all set up sweating like a mad person and what i like to do a little tip i like to do if you can see here, is to get all my rigs and pop-ups and all, all three of my rods already done already tied up all baits on pop-ups on you can see i've got two whites and a pink so I just cast all three, all three. I don't cast one and then come back to another rig and test the hook sharp and, and all that and tie a pop-up on and then cast. I like to get in a bit of a rhythm. And what it does is it gets all the disturbance out of the way in one go. So there's a little tip for you. Rather than just, you know, going from rod to rod to rod and bringing it in and, you know, rechucking it and all that, I like to get them all done. All three, standing up, all ready to go, everything tied, ready to rock and roll. And then put me chest is on or if I'm casting from the bank just do all three but if I'm clipped up you know wrapped out or whatever it is I like to get them all done in one go but that's just me you don't have to do that you know you've got to have confidence in what you're doing that's what I like I like disturbance to a minimum get them out there all in one go get in, get in a rhythm right I'm going to crack on I'm all sorted 
gone flat calm out there, which is lovely. I'm going to get the rods out, and then, oh, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, that's what I forgot to tell you. We've got, even for our 24-hour session, Mrs. B has put in one of her world-renowned curries. We've got that tonight with a bit of salad, no on breads. Oh, lovely. If you've been watching these videos, you can see what Mrs. B puts in. She puts in steak, you know, wraps, everything. So tonight is one of her special korma curries, a salad and a bit of the old naan bread. So we'll have that later. We'll have a look at that. Make you all envious if you're watching this out on the bank tonight. But you've got to eat properly when it gets cold. You've got to eat properly. Otherwise, you just don't fish efficient and you don't feel well. You know, you've got to eat good stuff. So we're all sorted, rods all ready to rock and roll, easy now, all, all settled and, and I'm going to get the rods out. So, catch up with you in a minute. Well, we've managed a cup of tea, got the rods out, still ain't seen no sign of the fluffy one. He's tucked away in there, still ain't seen nothing of him. He's got in there and I ain't seen him since. So yeah, we've had a nice cup of tea, we're all sorted, we've got the rods out. Now, I've got one up against the side of the island there, in a little drop off, it just drops off there. It's uh, into a bit of silt. Just a single, it's got a white washed, a white fluoro system X bait on. I've got one out, probably, see that big tree? I don't even see that on a film. Big tree in line with that, about 80 yards, 90 yards, just banged it out there, got a nice drop on that. It's got a single pink one on there, washed out pink system X. And the right hand one is over towards the tip of the island, about, about 70 yards again. Felt a little bit of a drop, a little bit of silt that one. That's got a white fluoro system x pop-up on so three pop-ups three stiff hinge rigs and that's it when you've got 24 hours when it's freezing cold unless you're fishing the runs water i'd like to just fish for a bite really if i was here for a couple of days i'd have some bait with me but i'd fish singles unless i caught one or I'd see a couple of fish or you know i'm bait in a certain area it's uh, then i'd int introduce a bit of bait on a regular basis and that's what i'm hoping to do this winter I'm going to try and find out where they are, which is still not winter winter yet. But I'm going to, my next trip down, I'm going to bring a couple of kilo bait and that's going to go out. That's going to be spread around the swim and I'm going to keep my fish in that area. I just want to find them. You know, the last trip down, I fished right up the other end. This trip down, I'm down this end. I haven't seen anything for a couple of trips, so it's not looking good at the moment. It looks like we'll be going to Sandhurst or Farhalos or B1 for a few bites soon. But, you know, some really good fish in here. It's hard, it's hard to go away from here when there's only one other guy on here at the moment and he's on a day session. It's, uh, you know, weekend anglers, yeah, I normally do a Sunday night, Monday night, or like tonight, I'm doing a Tuesday night. And uh, we go live from the bivvy, don't we? Normally on a Tuesday, so you can see this is what I'm, I'm fishing and I'll be doing the live. So you'll probably see this on the Monday and tomorrow night, you'll see me uh, going live. So yeah, it's, uh, it's looking good. It's quite warm. Water temperature is, ah, oh, I think it was saying 9.4, but it looks like I need to uh, replace the battery. I think I might have dropped it in the water by mistake, I think. That's what happened to I've stood on it. So unfortunately, I can't show you what the water temperature is, which is a bit of a shame. It was, when I looked about half an hour ago, when I got the rods out, before my nice cup of tea, it was saying 9.4. Uh, so it had gone up a bit. For this time, last week I think it was 8, eight I think. So it's, you know, it's gone up a bit because it's a little bit warmer today. Yesterday I reckon it would have been about 8, 8 and a half, because it was freezing yesterday looking at the weather conditions. So that's why I chose today to do a 24 hour. It's a lot warmer. I haven't got to have me, me jacket on, my puffer jacket. Nice and overcast, bit of drizzly rain. Just feels a lot warmer than it has done the last couple of weeks. So that's why, I, that's why I'm here really. See if I can nick one on a quick overnighter. 
would be nice to do a couple of nights, just can't work, work, work. It just gets in the way, doesn't it? But if it didn't work, wouldn't be able to pay for things. But that's fishing, that's, that's your normal angler, work, isn't it? Go fishing when you can, like me. Right, so, you know, about an hour before dark, looking nice, I haven't seen nothing, but I didn't really want to go, even on that wind, even though it's a bit warmer, it's still cold, and the last few days before now, looking at the weather, it was blowing up that end, so I couldn't see them being up there. Hence why I've come on, sort of on the side, on the back of it, and it just feels a lot warmer than when I've been fishing down that end previous weeks when it's been cold, so that's my plan anyway. I think we'd be lucky to get a bite, but you've got to be in it to win it, and every blank is a step closer to getting a bite. That's the way I look at it anyway. Plus we've got our uh, chicken curry from Miss, Mrs B later on, that's going to be absolutely lovely, that'll keep you warm on a cold night anyway. Him, the best foot, the best foot warmer in the world, the old furry one. Look, all you can see is his lead hanging out, I don't even know if you can see it. Down there, it's just the lead hanging out of the bed chair. And he's wrapped around it in there. He couldn't even wait for me to take the lead off so he'd get, get in. He just jumped in with the lead on and everything. He don't care, does he? All he wants to do is sleep. And then, as I always say, the two o'clock, three o'clock mysterious animal. Where he'd jump out, two or three, it's like woofing and huffing, about two or three in the morning, you know when you're in a deep sleep, as if like, like, you think, oh my God, someone's here. No. It's an imaginary rabbit that's run across the front of the swim, or the imaginary rat that don't exist. I swear he does it on purpose, just to just to get me up. He don't like me sleeping. He, he just wants to get me up, doesn't he? But, bless him. Wouldn't be without him, you know, he keeps me company on these cold winters. Don't need to, no one else got me and him, and the fish, haven't we? So that's what's happening, that's what we're doing, that's how we've laid our plans out, the rigs, the bay, how we've approached it, why we've done what we've done. And we've got a night, it's just for dark, and we're just gonna relax, chill out, because we're back to work tomorrow, and see if we can catch one. Well, morning. Nothing happened last night at all, but I'm sure I heard one show out there about half past 12 last night. I'm sure I heard one. So I think we was in the right area, it's just up against it on overnighter. And also that cold snap a couple of days before, down to minus temperatures, just kicked it out of sync really. But it looks beautiful this morning. All the gears all packed up more or less. Just the rods on the dance floor. That's all we got to bring in now. He's raring to go home, bless him. He can't wait to get in the van, get warm again. So he's been in that bag. So, that's it. Sorry we didn't catch any fish this time, guys, but I hope you enjoyed the vlog in these winter series of vlogs. And I hope you continue to watch. So don't forget, if you like these type of vlogs, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. You'll get all notifications of every time I release a new video. See you for the next vlog.